Welcome to Ghost of Tomorrow. This is chapter one. I do believe it's sort of like a demo or a prologue, if you will. Music by Micah Peacock. Very cool name. We are going to check this out because it looked pretty okay. Hi, Amanda. How's college? Hey, Mom. It's great. How is your roommate, Gail? He seemed a bit strange when I mate him. I don't like you sharing an apartment with a stranger, you know. He's fine, Mom. We get along really well. Even We even take some classes together. Gotta go. Gonna drive to my apartment. Bye. Okay, drive safe. Kissy face. With heart flying outward. Ooh! Oh, cool. I don't have to drive. Oh, that's awesome. Alright. I can't look down or up. I can only look side to side. Distracted driving. August 23, 2019 some sort of time in the in the p.m. I gotta get to my apartment there's a huge storm coming oh oh I thought that was something in the sky New voice message received from Gail okay oh I thought that was something in the sky but it's the reflection of my radio on the voice message windshield. from Gail Hey Amanda, I was thinking maybe we should get together on the weekend to study for Monday's exam. I don't know, I was thinking maybe we could go to a coffee place and... Yeah, oh hey, oh! Wow, that's, that's, that's control behind the wheel, you know? That's excellent control behind the wheel. Wow, everything is so loud. Oh no, please don't tell me this is my walking pace for the whole game. What? Wait, why am I out of the car? Do, do I walk? Do I walk this way? It seems like the earth just ends right there. Can I get back in the car? Okay. I've made it home to my apartment. Look at that. What is, what is going on here? All right. Yo, this walking pace is absolute cancer. Can we, uh,. <laughs> Can you boys sprint a little? Please? Which one's gonna get here first, guys? Which one's gonna get here first? Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Why, though? Why? Th why, though? Why? Okay, I'm in. I'm in. I'm, go I'm going in. I'm going in. Oh, sick. I'm just gonna click, because I don't know where I'm going. Why? <laughs> Why would you do this? Oh, hey, I got a body. Look at that. Look at my cute skirt, dude. Look at me. Is this my house? That's my house. I'm so good. Fortune teller. There's been strange things going on tonight. Must be tired. Gonna go to bed and get some sleep. I feel that, dude. I feel that. Gail must be resting in his room. I shouldn't bother him right now. I'm not gonna lie. That's an ass spot for a room, dude. It seems like the the whole... Yeah, well, okay. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Maybe this apartment layout is just butt cheeks. Peach. Cool. 
We got a lot going on. Fancy art. Okay, okay. Look at that. My Fidonia. It's a little pedantic, don't you think? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what that room is, but I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Just, I'm just absolutely shut the door right now. I'm just gonna go in here. I'm just gonna go in here. Just go to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> That's my phone? Wait, wait, wait though, wait, but wait though. Jeez. Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Amanda, I've been calling and texting you for two days and you haven't answered. I haven't heard anything from you for days. Where are you? Are you okay? Please call me. I've been asleep for two days. Also, mom, I have my own place. Like, just back, back off, you know? I guess I need to have one more. Oh, okay, okay, right. Oh. Gail, it's me, Martha, Amanda's mother. Do you know where Amanda is? She hasn't answered my phone calls for two days. Please, if you know anything, call me. What? What? Wait. What? Missing person. Me. And it goes into the table. Look at that. Last seen outside Harvard University on August 20th. There's a lady crying in my home. Last seen outside Harvey University on August 23rd, wearing a white tank top and jean shorts, brown eyes, dark hair, 5'7", 120 pounds, 22. Please contact Martha Graham if found. Um. Yo. Yo, what though? What though? What are you saying, though? What, though? What? Gail? Why is that door open down there? Oh, no. That, no. I'm gonna go check out this door over here because that just sounded like... Either that's the sound of it being locked and not being able to open, or that's the sound of me just having unlocked it. Oh. Hey, flashlight. Hey. Yes, please. Missing... Yo. No thanks, bud. Missing student body found stabbed by a roommate. Alleged killer turned himself into police. Police searched for Amanda's whereabouts for two weeks. Amanda's roommate, 24-year-old Gail Rogers, was arrested after confessing to hiding the body. Body found in cross... Space. Hidden behind a... F <laughs> a false wall inside closet of Mr. Rogers' room. Amy Holland, Amanda's close friend, informed Amanda and Gail were good friends. I was shocked when I heard but I heard the news. Martha Graham, Amanda's mother, expressed, I'm devastated. I should have done something to avoid this. Now my baby is gone. Police found no previous conviction. 
and Roger's records. Roger was charged with murder and hiding a corpse for which he will face court soon. Wait. Wait, though. You said F for flashlight. But, but wait. Yo! Was that my body? Was that my body? Was that my body here? On the ground? Yo, that's uncalled for. That's absolutely not necessary. That's absolutely not necessary what's happening up here. Why are you breathing that way? Oh, God. Flashlight, no! Flashlight, no! Flashlight, turn back on, please! Turn back on, flashlight! I'm gonna go in the kitchen. I hate it out there. Give me this. Give me this. Throw peaches in her eyes like pocket sand. Give me the... I'll take the frying pan, dude. I'll throw a chair at it. Just throw a chair down the whole hallway. This is un... Fortunate my circumstance here, and I am not I'm not happy about it <laughs> Please Please <laughs> No Hey, fucking, oh my god, bro, god damn it, oh, no, thank you, no, thank you, shut my damn door, go to sleep, go to sleep, oh. oh my god, oh, Oh, that was, oh my god, that was one of the best scares I've ever gotten since I started this channel, dude. Oh my god. You know, I thought this game was going to be a little bit ass <laughs> because of, you know, the whole beginning sequence. I thought it was going to be a little bit ass, but I... I'm wrong. I was wrong, and I am wrong. Oh, great, it's open. Oh, great. Oh, great, it's the darkest dark I've ever seen in here. Please. Oh, my flashlight was out that whole time? Why? Why is it inky in here? Why is it ink? P Absolutely not. Absolutely not, no! I, I, I can only see the door. Oh, f Okay, that is the it's locked sound. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You've instilled fear inside my torso, and now... Now... You give me a hallway of unopening doors. No fate. What do you mean? <sighs> You're locked too? Hey, hey, hey! Why did that scare me? Oh god, they all open. Oh no. They're all gonna open. Hey, stop! That's ridiculous that you would do that! <laughs> Uh, is it all going to be ink? Am I supposed to just choose a door? Am I supposed to just choose a door? I'll just choose a door, I guess. Perfect. Oh. And loving... Memory, Amanda Graham, 1997 to 2019. Oh. 
Right, okay. All right, okay. I'm gonna try this bad boy again. Perfect. All right, let's go in this door. What are you? What are you, though? Is that me? That's me. I recognize that skirt anywhere. Don't. Oh! Okay, so that's that's not a good door either, right? Okay, so we just try doors. That's what this whole thing is. Is we just try doors. I can try doors. Gail Rogers sentenced to 25 years in prison. Gail Rogers pleads guilty to murder. Police found Rogers right riddings, raging about society and loneliness. Prosecutor says. He was romantically obsessed with Amanda. Just ask me out, homeboy. Okay. Alright, so we just go through doors, I guess. Is there a certain door? That I'm supposed to go through? I... You're not what I've seen before. Are you Gail? Are you... Are you... Yeah, that seems like it's probably Gail. Yeah, that definitely seems like it's probably Gail. Look, he's wearing the gray sweatpants to show off his penis bulge. No! There's a fucking personal space! Throughout history, people have experienced the supernatural event of a time slip. What is a time slip? A time slip is when a person or group of people travel back in time through supernatural ways, not technological like a time machine. This happens because time is not linear or fixed as we perceive it. Time is fluid, but exists within a context of a single point of space. In the year of 1996 in Liverpool, Frank was shopping with his wife and they decided to split up. Frank went to the record store, and she went to Dylan's bookshop. As he walks towards the store, a 1950s van with the name Kaplan's on the side crossed in front of him. He saw that Dylan's bookstore now had a Crips signage. The shop was selling women's purses and shoes instead of books. He looked around, and everyone around him were all dressed in the fashions from the 1950s, but bizarrely, a young woman walked past him with a popular purse from the 90s, which reassured him that he was somewhat still in 1996. Frank followed that woman into the store, and the store turns back into a bookstore. She told Frank she too had thought the store was a clothes shop. It was later proven that Crips and Kaplan's were actual local businesses from Liverpool during the 50s. Frank did not only travel back in time, he was standing right between both 1950s and 1996. These experiences are real. The universe works in mysterious and inexplicable ways. However, the true cause of time slips remains unknown. Okay. So, am I... I am in a time slip then? <laughs> if I'm grasping that correctly, I'm currently standing between me being alive and me being dead? Is this the in-between right here? Is this the freaking upside down that I'm in right now? This hallway of terror? Because... I mean, clearly, look, look, look at me. Look at this skirt. Look at the skirt and blouse, dude. Clearly, I'm still alive. So, okay, we're just gonna keep going through doors. Uh, 
Okay. Alright, that's not... Don't do that, though. Okay. Okay. Alright. Stop the madness. Yeah. Please stop this madness. Stop this madness. None of this is okay. Don't do that again. Whatever you do, do not do that again. Two more doors. Let's go. Two more. Boom. One more. Can I go? No. You know, the walking pace isn't actually that bad. Okay. All right. The door is open. But what are you going to do? What are you about to do to me? Am I supposed to? I am back at home. Was it all just a nightmare? I've just been kicking it watching soccer? Wait, home? Wait, so do I not even have that apartment? This is not that apartment. The apartment I was in didn't even have a living room. So, which now that I think about it is super weird. Okay. It's gotta be this. Nope. Nah. You don't absolutely know. I'm leaving. I'm moving. I'm li every oh, okay, this door isn't real. Can I turn you off? Why? Oh, uh, okay. There's no sound anymore. Wait, wait, that door is open. Wait, there's a door open. That one of the doors is open. Uh, I have a flashlight still. I just sleep with it. Oh, shut the door. Do oh my god. <laughs> nice pectorals, Gail. But you still suck. The doctor has told me that writing my thoughts is therapeutic and might help with the trauma. How much more can I handle? After losing my daughter to a murderer... Which itself is a horrible tragedy, my husband has been, been very absent. Our daughter's death has been devastating to him, and understandably so. I've... I myself feel devastated too, however, I try to move forward in life with him and my son Dylan. Of course, the death of his sister has also affected Dylan gravely, especially for a young 18-year-old boy, but at least I feel he is around me, unlike my husband. He tries his hardest to give emotional support to this family. Still, my son's behavior has also changed. I quite don't know how to put it, but something about him seems very different. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. Now we can go in here? No. Why would we be able to do that? 
okay, can I go back in here and then things happen? Do I sit, turn off TV, leave? Oh, come on. Don't tell me the game broke right now. I'll be so upset. This has been so good. Wait, I just clicked on the coffee table? And now I can't move. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what that was. What, what that was. Why? There was no, I, I don't. But moving on. Hey. So wait, hey. That's not all right what you're doing. I feel safe in here now because there's no one in here, but I don't feel safe out there now because I don't know. So today I found out that my son is doing drugs. I think that that Gale monster not only killed our daughter, but killed each one of us. Amanda's death has left a turmoil in this family, and I don't know what to do. Unfortunately, my son has a lot of his father in him. I tried talking about it with him, but he just won't. How much more can I handle? I myself have been depressed ever since Amanda died, but I am not one to channel my depression into substance abuse. That's just not the way I was taught to confront things in life in my house. I try to keep my faith in God, and I find some peace within him. I am the only one here trying to keep this family together from breaking apart. Okay, mom's trying to be strong. Mom's trying to be strong. Oh, perfect. Hi. How you doing? Hey. Mom, are you mom? Damn, mom, you kind of bad, though. Okay, we're, I'm fine with this lore dump. Just, I'm trying to... I sometimes go to Amanda's room and try to find some comfort. Being in a room reminds me of her. I almost feel like she's around here. A few days ago, I swear I saw a figure that looked like Amanda walking down the hall. I also hear mysterious footsteps around the house when I'm alone. It has to be her. Her spirit is following me. Perfect. Hey. I spoke to my husband about the day I saw Amanda, and of course he thinks I'm insane and delusional. He immediately dismisses any conversation related to Amanda. He is afraid to confront anything related to her. It's almost like he wants to forget about her entirely. We've been discussing a divorce. He says being around the house makes him more depressed. He rented an apartment for himself and I barely see him or talk to him. How much more can I handle of any of this? My boy Dylan is also barely around. His drug addiction has taken a toll on him. What's making noise over here? Perfect. Am I about to do pills? I gotta find a way to get out. Okay, alright, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, you mean of the bathroom? I'll... Well, let me eat pills! That'll, that'll get, that'll get me out. In one way. What is that? Why is that there? Key. Okay. I didn't expect you to just open though. Super cool. Super cool. Everything's red and dark. Super cool. Don't. Key. Okay. Key. Okay. Key. Okay. Get me. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Oh, get me out, please. Get me out, please. I can't. I can't. Okay, I can't go in there. Can't go in there? It's fine. It's fine. Let me go in here. Shit! Oh, no! No! No, no, no! Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Will it ever stop? 
I can't. Stop the madness. How much longer? I don't know how much longer. I was thinking maybe one of them, just one of them would be like an actual note, but I guess not. Things are askew in here. Father of murdered roommate commits suicide. Arthur Graham found dead in apartment. <laughs> Excuse me! Help! Hey! Amanda, can you read my texts? Yes, what's wrong? I can't believe it. This is unreal. It's, is it really you, Amanda? What's going on? You were gone. I thought you would never... I thought I would never speak to you again. Why did you not let me finish reading that? Why did you not let me... That was a longer text, bro. That was so much longer than the previous texts, bro. Give, give a dude a second to read it. Oh! This game was so much better than I thought it was going to be. It provided me with legitimately, I think, for real, one of the best, I don't even know if I would say jump scare. Yes, it was a jump scare, but there was like so much build up to it that I feel like it's just a scare because I feel like an actual plain old jump scare is when you've settled down from the previous nerves and suspense right and then just pop that's a jump scare but me i was already so so tense and full of fear dude and then it hit me with the with the lights back on and then a quick ah, of of the ch oh man that was so good that was so good that scare i honestly did not anticipate much going into this i thought it was going to be another ouija rumors but this one was so much better. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Link in the description below. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Like, subscribe. Thank you so much for hanging out. I truly appreciate it. I will see you around.